A very warm welcome to you. How are you this evening? This is the launch of a brand new one day special. A one day special here on Hochanda is a fabulous bundle of products at a discounted price for 24 hours or whilst the stocks last. I say that because I think we're going to be very, very busy for this one day special we have for you right now. It's a brand new launch, brand new today from Karen Berniston. And what we've got here is something full of innovation engineered and designed by Karen herself who's been in the crafting industry for over 15 years. Now Karen was an engineer, moved over into the crafting industry designing pop-up style cards for other companies and then decided to bring out her own range with her own name added to it. Now this is a great deal at £37.99. You're saving £5 on that price and together you are getting 20 dies in total. Oh my word, I'm going to show you the dies first and then I'm going to show you what they can do. So you've got your first set here which is going to allow you to create, if I turn this around, those beautiful fold in flaps for building and creating your pop up animation cards, I'm going to call them animation. And then you've got your main die here, if we pop that around, what will produce that pop up card. Now let me show you what we mean by that. Now I'm going to pick up this one just here to show you. Now if you were to send this through the post to somebody, you would think, right, you need to go and get a box to put it in. Do you know something? You don't. You just pop that down and then in the actual envelope, let me place that down to put that in. You can place that in and you can send that through the post. And then when someone receives that, they'll take it out They'll take that and it will pop up just like that. Um, it really is a fantastic, beautiful die to use and it's very, very easy to follow the instructions and demonstrations that we've got coming up in the show. Now, talking of demonstrations, before I show you some more samples, we've got a lovely Paola in the studio. We're going to be talking to Karen as well, but there's Paola. We've got some live demonstrations coming up so you can see just how easy it is to make and create these fun cards full of innovation and full of fun as well. Are you ready to pull this one out? So thinking of you, here we go, out it comes and up it pops. So it's a pussy cat. Now you can turn that box into a cat if you want to with of course the addition of the eyes. I said cat, it could be a mouse. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. Do you know why I said it was a cat? Because the cat's on the front. But of course, yeah. Yeah, so is that a cat or is it a mouse? It's the mouse that's hiding from the cat. That's why I said the cat. Do you know what? That's what I say to mice. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. See how easy they pop up. Right, let's pop that one down. Now, let me pick this one up. What do you think this is? I'll give you a clue. It's my favourite. What do you think it could be? So, oh, someone thinks it's a badger. Now let's pull this out. Are you ready? A badger, that colour. Let's pull it out. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's a fox. Look at that. Now what a beautiful surprise that will be. And up he pops. So again, just simply push that down once you've made it and then you can pop that in the post and then it's just going to spring to life when someone takes that out of the card. I think that is absolutely fantastic. So many different variants on this design, but you do need to get, of course, your dies to be able to start building and creating. And I think you've already got some ideas. Could be cats, could be dogs, could be foxes, could be mice, it could be chickens, could be a little chick at Easter time, for example. We've got one of those just at the front there. You'll see that, just pop that down. And when that comes out, just with the addition of some feathers, Boom, up it pops. Love that. Um, such a wonderful collection. You can make them into animals if you want to, or you could have just that lovely little box. Now, you can shop ahead on the website. We've got lots of different elements and different dies for you that will go actually with the previous one day special that we had for you from Karen. We're going to take you through all of those later on. We want to get to demonstrations pretty quickly because we want you to see how you can make and create those fantastic designs. So, if you want anything else that's on the show at the moment as you watch Paola then please head to the website have a peruse keep popping things into your basket along with your one day special right as promised and this is a real treat having a guest live here in the studio here she is here's our Paola 
Yes, we are, but we are very far apart. Um, we keep in all the government guidelines and everything like that. But of course, we are a very, very, I'm very, very honored to be uh, demonstrating Canberra St. Dyes. As Jana said, she's an amazing uh, civil engineer that is also a paper crafter. Now, the surprise pop bowl is just amazing, not only because you can create all those effects, but also because it's so easy to make. Now, what you need to do is with always with Cam Bernstein, you can use uh, any leading die cutting machine that is at least um, a five in size or has a you know six inches uh, in aperture. I use an A4 die cutting machine because just it's just easier for me. Now, what you do with the pop up um, ball die? Now, I you need to die cut two of the main die. Now. As per usual, let's have a moment, look at a moment, let's, let's let me turn it over uh, and see the packaging because you have got in here exactly how it works uh, and it, it shows you the sample cards, which are the items that it might use. So also you have got that idea. Then you turn it over and I put my, my magnetic sheet because I know you that because of, trans but you can see how in the packaging it comes with printed exactly to size of the die, um, the die cut or the die rather. So you no, are not gonna, if you misplace a die, you know exactly where you are gonna put it. But more importantly, here you have got written instructions. Now, I'll be completely honest, I am the sort of person that prefers I will check onto the written instructions. However, if you are one of these people that you need to have a tutorial, and if you, Karen has got amazing tutorials online, so you will have that amazing resources online. Right, it has cut, uh, you can see, and has scored every single line. Now, another great thing about Karen, she gives you instructions, not only about how to assemble it, but even what sort of a uh, weight card you need to do. Of course, Karen is based in, um, in uh, um, uh, Colorado, I believe. Sorry, I know I kind of, I kind of going confused. But of course, uh, Kansas is where uh, the company is based on. So hence, why is sometimes Kansas, sometimes Colorado. Anyway, so we have got here. Um, so because she is based in America, that's what I meant. It has got the impounds, the weight. Of now. I need to tell you that we are very busy for the one day special. Do please check out your baskets because already 10% of the one day special has already gone. Now that means that please, you know, you know the stock should last for 24 hours. So, um, but should, but not always does. Right, so I have got here this element here and following the instructions, I have got and uh, gone ahead and I got another second one. Re always make the folds stronger by doing them you know, like kind of like I have done all the folds towards, um, and that will reinforce or kind of like I love the word that Karen herself uses, which is train the folds. Now these two, fold, you glue them like so, and that is to make sure that it ca you can make them stronger those flaps. So you hold it like this. Now a top tip that I use for gluing flaps and things like that, I use the base of a stamping platform and I use magnets in here. So kind of while the glue holds, I can move on to the other, or the other, or the other aspect. Right. The other thing I'm going to, you need to have. Oh, I, I believe. Oh, well, we have got Karen. Finally, we managed to get Karen, but I don't know when when we could be. As soon as she is ready, she will be on the phone. So it will be either to me talking, or of course, uh, or it will be uh, with. Uh, um, Janice. Right, so what we have got in here, you can see, uh, you have got, you can see that uh, hole in here, okay? So therefore, you can actually attach a bright through, so it can be a rotating moving part. You can see that I have put it like, you can, you can see I have already glued those bits in here, and that should uh, already be attached. Our, you know, live TV, it always happens the same thing. When as soon as the camera are ready, the glue doesn't work so many times. Right, so what you do is, can you see how this one will match that? There it is, that one will match that. So I have gone ahead and to prevent the glue, uh, glue you know, situation, I have put a little bit of red liner tape. Now I am very, um, I wouldn't use just use red liner tape because personally I find it that 
red liner tape is, a, is the strongest of the tapes, but sometimes for something that pulls so much, you need wet glue as well. So I kind of put a little bit of red liner tape to grab it, but the strong bond will come from the glue. It's up to you if you just if you are comfortable to using uh, just um, red liner tape, that's fine as well. Right, so what you do, is you put a rubber band. Now rubber bands, these ones, they, she even tells you which, uh, Karen even tells you which size, which is a 14 size. So I just literally, I put it on my search engine, uh, you know, rubber bands, size 14, there they were, really, really inexpensive. So you put it like that, so, and then what you do is, uh, again, just lift it up. Now, it's always the same with these shows is now we are incredibly busy for the one day special so do please check out those baskets now these surprise balls are fabulous because as you can uh, see the samples um you know you can do so many different um cr you know little creatures little you know surprise you can actually make like uh, in the packaging like a mini album so put pictures on there because you have got also all the other elements in here so you can fussy cut those areas with maybe pictures maybe you can put a little words or something like that now i'm holding this strongly because that is where it and then i kind of can you see the rubber bands in here kind of hold it and that goes into the other hole. Now, this is as tricky as it gets because, uh, but look at that. That is there. Okay, let's just put it fine. And you, can you see that it has got a little notch in there so that you wanted the rubber band to be right nice and snugged into that uh, hole there. All right, and then what you do is now, what you do, you can just see how I fold it like this. So what I'm going to do is, okay, uh, so I'm going to pe peel those elements into it. N so to make sure that it grabs it like that. So what you do is you put a little bit of glue in here and a little bit of glue in there. Okay, now I believe Karen, and I'm going to do that to all the different sides. I believe Karen is on the phone. Hello, Karen. Hello. How are, how are you? Nice to you? So you are joining Technology. us. Uh, where where do you live? Because I forgot again. <laughs> I live in Katy, Texas, which is a suburb of Houston. That's it. I, I did say Colorado, and it's Texas. <laughs> yeah, I used to live in Colorado. Oh, that's weird. That probably is. How are you doing? I'm doing well. This is exciting. We are. All, yeah, it's, it's it's right. So. I will love your surprise pop bowl. Thank you. It's so, so amazing. How did well, you? Well, I am amazed at what people have been making with it. So, the one, for instance, actually, here, let me grab it. I put on the um, packaging, I put like little pictures on it. And it's a cute little, almost little memory album, like you were talking about. And then the design team got a hold of it, and it was just amazing what they came up with. It. So all the animals and everything, amazing. It's, I remember that recently I have seen um, one that it was a dragon, wasn't it? Yes. Um, you're going to stop me on who. We, we have a Facebook group where people from all over the world are posting ideas. And I um, mean, really, from everywhere. And there's been a couple dragons amazing animals if you go on the, the Facebook group. You'll get a lot of inspiration. Yeah, it, it, so what, what exactly is the Facebook group uh, called so that everybody can refer to it? It's called the Karen Burneson Pop-Up Channels. Okay. So you just search for that in your box on Facebook and then um, you have to answer a couple questions that's just to make sure we're getting crafters. <laughs> and then you're in. Fabulous. Now, of course, I, it, I love your tutorials as well because you explain everything how to very easily. Uh, where we would find those ones online? Well, it depends. Well, we have a YouTube channel. Uh -huh. You can go to KarenBurniston.com. There are assembly videos of all of the guys actually on the product page. So if you just wanted to find the assembly video for your surprise ball, you could go to KarenBurniston.com. Put that in the search engine, it'll come right up. 
But at the bottom of the page, link to our YouTube channel, and you'll find lots more videos there. Follows, yeah. Right, thank you, Karen. We, we, I'm really excited about uh, this one day special. Please stay safe and be safe, uh, all, all of you. And uh, I hope this soon you can come over and we can all see right. you in person here. I am looking forward to it. And thank you, Paola, for ste stepping in and doing such an awesome job with these it's, demonstrations. It's an honor, and it's an honor because the product is fabulous, and so are you. I mean, you come up with the concepts and so easy. Now, of course, uh, thank you so much. Goodbye and have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you, you right. too. Because one of the things that I really love is, so in the meantime, I have just glued the flaps. So I kind of just hold it in to make sure. And look, I haven't done anything, but look at that. So that is, it springs absolutely perfect. Now this is how, you know, the only thing that it takes is, is to put a rubber band and of course glue the tabs together. Now, of course, me being me, I forgot to put the bra through because I was kind of distracted. Uh, so when I glued all the elements, yeah. But you can see that you put the bra, the, 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 the bra um, before you glue all the tabs off because otherwise you might, you know, this will happen. But if you wanted to put the bra, then it will be rotated. But don't worry because you can, you don't need to have it rotating. So in this case, um, we are going to glue it. Also, in the one day special, you are getting this die, the flaps the here. You can see the flaps uh, closure. I put them in my own plastic, uh, you know, little uh, sleeves so it kind of keeps them nice and safe. So there are many different ways that you can do. It's about five inches, it's that five inches in height. So I have gone ahead and I cut this piece of card in here that is five uh, inches. Now I'm going to put the flaps, uh, they're going to put it in here, there. And then what you do is, if you, you have got also the inner dies, um, what is it? Oh, kind of foot. oh I typical Paula, one piece has gone array. I had a die already perfectly prepared. Oh, here it is, it's a bit underneath it. And it has got also the die that will match perfectly that flap. Now, I want to put a brad through here. Now I remember, finally. So I'm going to just pierce it more or less in the center. And also this die contains the washers. So you, you die cut them. And of course, it is a die. And you have got two different sizes. You have got the very large one. And then you have got the eyelet size. So that can be like creating, if you don't have eyelets and you want to create the effect of an eyelet, die cut it out of metallic card and that creates a, a, an um, eyelet. Flatten the, uh, the brads and then just put the glue on the back or double-sided tape. Of course, that is up to you. Now this on its own is a really lovely uh, element that you can use with other dies th from the Ken Burnson collection or in its own. It's like a create like flaps from an envelope or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it like so. Oh, that's not very in the center. Oh, Paola, Paola, how amateur. It's been a while since I have been demonstrated, so it kind of all goes a little bit array. But, you know, so is life. And I hope that at home you know that, you know, things will go wrong even to people who have been crafting for a very long time. And that's the joy sometimes. The joy sometimes is exploring and making mistakes, like putting this as crooked as possibly I can. And then you can see that. Now this is gonna go in the center. So you can see how I'm gonna place it. So it just kind of fits in there. Now decorating this can be as you wish. So you can, sometimes when I'm, it's boxes and things like that, I tend to decorate them before I, uh, assemble them because I can press down. But because this 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 uh, this surprise pop ball um, you flattens completely, I can press down. So it doesn't really matter. So then what I'm going to do is going to put these papers in here. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue. And of course, the panels do come with the die, so you have got the perfect dies. Now, I'm not being, like I always say, like I'm just doing this for the speed of the demo, not kind of being as careful as I should be putting better amounts of glue. But this is just to show you how you can assemble it. Now, of course, if you want to make sure that the pattern of the of the paper cont is continuous, you can do that, but I'm just 
quickly showing how you can decorate it. Now, look at that. Isn't that clever? I mean, I'm not going to do the, put the papers on the bottom because I actually kind of like it like that, with the different ones in here. Now, the other thing you can do with this one is put things that obviously you can see with the animals that pop out. So you can, so what I would do is always put, for instance, when you put something like this, the popping out of elements, so it could be the face of the animal, it could be other stuff, what you do need to do is just make sure that you put the glue on the bottom side, not the part that goes above those scoring lines, because otherwise it wouldn't stand up. Can you see that now? That is kind of there. And then, of course, you can then put some flowers that I have got here. By the way, we have got those ones on the show. And you can then put maybe a star here. So you can make... Now, what I would do is always when you put them, just make sure that you don't kind of intertwine them because then when it springs, you want to have a clear, um, clear, surf clear area. Now, I'm going to put a glue here. And I, of course, I should have put a brad because that would have been making it, rotating it, which would be the best way, but live TV and all that. Oh, look. Um, so what I'm going to put is like so, and then I just take a little bit of baker's wine, and then you kind of, kind of just, just do a couple of L, uh, rotations around the brad, and that will should kind of hold it in place. Now, you can go a few times if you wanted to. It's up to you. And that you should, you can see completely flat. Then you kind of have a, here a sentiment. I think a star would be lovely. So kind of hold it in. In here, just a little star. And then when you open it, in here, there it is. And how quick and easy was that? Now, I wanted to show you as well this one. This one, I had some panels. And imagine, I just love the hexagon. So it is based on a hexagon. So that one goes completely flat. But look at that. So that is a very contemporary look. So you know you don't have to use it as a cutesy element it's just something that can be very pretty very decorative very contemporary or extremely cute with those beautiful animals and of course you can add more than one ball in here you can add them with um of course brats between them and also you would the other thing that you can do is use them like so i don't have another one that i can show you but if you have got like this you can see that then you can make it like a puppy, for instance. So then this is the head and this is the body. So the dragon, so because what they do then is they fall like that. Obviously, you need a bigger card. But then when they open, that's how they do. Can you imagine with that, with all the sentiments as well? Pictures, maybe. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just something, uh, something just a bit different and so easy to put together. Right, I mentioned red liner tape, uh, red liner tape, which is a good idea because as you can see, I use a little bit to make sure that it grabs it. Now the proper bond, I use uh, wet glue because that gives me the stronger bond. But of course, the red liner tape is an essential for all those flaps, for all those elements that you may want to attach it. You can grab yours. There is a seven day savers there from, I believe, Walter Strong. Uh, and of course, 9.99 and you are getting, uh, I don't know how many, um, 20 reels in there, 100 meters, so that is a lot. Um, right, I'm going to pass you to our lovely Janice. Oh, thanks, Paula. I'm going to tell you right now that 20% of the stock has already gone. Oh, my word, this is such a fantastic deal because it gives you that innovation at home to build and create these amazing designs. I'm just going to turn this around to show you. Three easy stages, one, two, three, that's it, and you're ready to go. And you can watch these demonstrations again from the lovely Paula if you want to at 8 o'clock tonight and on repeat on Rewind. They're easy to post because look at that, they go flat it's amazing and they just pop straight on up when you take them out of the envelope i've got another sample here to show you they're going to be dispatched from the 5th of may because they come from america from kansas let's open this what's inside here what's inside here open that and up he pops there you go it's our director andy <laughs> but that will just go all the way flat look at that and then 
pops out. Oh, you're gonna have so much fun with these. You really are because you've got the basic element. Well, it's not ba nothing basic about it, but you've got that element within, and then you can start to build and create on top of that. Placing two on top to make a penguin goes all the way flat pops all the way back up again. I uh, love this. 339031 is your item number. 20 dies in total. So you get the centerpiece and then you get, of course, the envelope to put it in or the enclosure that then it will just open up and release, which is fabulous. And that is what this is just here. I'll just show you this. I don't think I've showed you this. Uh, there you go. So you've got the full set right here that's made and created this fabulous card. That'll flop over, that'll flop over. A Little bit of string to tie it and to gather it up. And then when it opens up, it pops up to say hello. That's fantastic. Absolutely love that. Look at the cute little doggies on there. Love it. Uh, right, and you're loving it as well because 20% of the stock has already gone. 339031 is your item number. Now, we've got some more for you on the show. Um, now you may have seen these on the website. You may have been perusing these as Paula was putting together demonstrations for you. But now we're gonna show you them. Each and every one is absolutely incredible and a wonderful price for you. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Here's the card. So this gets delivered. This will be in an envelope or an envelope, however you pronounce it. And then it's time to open it up. And there you go. So you can see it's flat, but you get that 3D element to it. It's easy to put together. And again, if I pick up the die, turn it around, guess what? One, two, three, easy steps and you're done. You're done and you're ready to go to amaze people when you send them these through the post. Now, 10% of the stock has already gone. Look at this, are you ready for this? 10% of the stock has already gone. Turn that into that treasure chest, that is amazing. Who would have thought how easy this is to make and create? You'll be thinking, why haven't I not done this sooner? It's because you've not got these dice from Karen. That's why. 778964 is your item number if you want to go for the parcel pop-up. Now, we've got the treasure chest next. That's your parcel pop-up. But this is the treasure chest. This is the one I actually showed you. I jumped ahead of myself. This is your treasure chest that you can open up. Let's show you this one. Are you ready? So here's, here's the card. Comes to you flat, looks really nice on the outside. But then when you open it up, there's a whole heap of treasure inside. And if you like the little elements that are on there, we've got them coming up on the show as well. So you might want to add those to your basket. 24 pounds, whoops, 99 pence gets you 11 dies in total. And again, there's all the dies. And guess what? One, two, three, easy stages to follow. Brilliant, isn't this fantastic? To be able to get dies that are going to make your life so much easier, but make someone's life so much happier as well. Right, 009161 is your item number. Next up, we've got some paper frames for you. Uh, you might want to add these to your basket because if your basket comes to 60 pounds or more, if you're liking what you see, then of course you can open up a flexi order. Are you ready for this? Again, beautiful card, flattered as it is, and then open it up, and then, has that got stuck in there? No, there you go, and then you can open that up, which is so, so pretty. And I love that little bunting, there you go, that comes out, so pretty. In fact, a little picture on each side, or maybe there would be really nice, just like a locket, really. Um, show you this sample, beautiful pink and white, open that up, but look at the bunting that runs all the way across. Who would think, when you get this card through the post, that when you open it up, it gives you such pleasure and delight. So many different designs that you can come up with, so many different designs that the design team have come up with as well. So we've had Kelly on the design team, this is by Frank. Love this. Again, these elements are also on the show for you. 846460 is your item number to make the mechanisms that build up that particular card and then you can decorate it with some more dies that we've got coming up. Right, my goodness, we've got your rocket rectangles next. Now, if you've got a card to make maybe for your dad or for your brother, this would be a really good one just because of the dimensions and the shapes. Are you ready for this? So open this one out, nice and flat in the post. Open it up. Look at that, you are a lifesaver. So many lifesavers out there at the moment. This would be really nice to send to somebody if they are working for those fabulous services out there at the moment. You know who you are. 
Look at that, amazing. Show you another sample. Oh, let me pick this one up and show you. This one looks interesting. Oh, yes. Are you ready? This is quite apt for this time of year. It's a buzzy bee. Unless you're my dog, Millie, who got stung by a bee the other day. I know. Well, she did eat it, so, you know, you can't blame the bee. Having a go on the way down. Do be careful, though. Lots of bees around at the moment. Do take care of the bees. £24.99 pence if you want to go for the rocking rectangle, nine dies in total. Now, this is your Catherine label. Catherine label. Oh. Spelt different from our Catherine. Yes, Catherine Sturrock, I've learnt how to spell your name at last, at last. Uh, right, beautiful, let's just open this up. Ah, uh, that is such a smooth movement. It just floats up, are you ready? Thank you, that's amazing. And look how that stands proud of the card, but then shuts flat. Let's show you another one. 957214 is your item number. Oh, this is pretty. Did you do this one, Paola? Uh, yes. See, how did I know? How did I know? I know Paola's style, it's fabulous, isn't it? Are you ready? Here it comes. That is amazing. Love the way it just drifts up as you open that card up. That's amazing. That's fantastic, Paola. I love that. Love that. Uh, here's another one. This one's uh, been made. Did you make this one, Paola? No. No, she didn't make this one. Equally as beautiful, though. Whoever made it in the design team, equally as beautiful. £21.99. That is a special card for a special occasion. And if you're creating these to make and sell, of course there is an angel policy in there, but you can sell these on if you want to. So extra special occasions, 957214. Oh, this is my favorite. Yep, absolutely. Think of the scenes that you can make with this. You've got your tree there. Again, fold that flat and open it up and up pops the tree with the swing. That is amazing, isn't it? Let's just bring that swing down. There you go. So you've got the swing on there and the tree. What a lovely card. Let's open this one. Flat through the post. Receive that through the door. Isn't that lovely? What a lovely die cut on the card. You open it up expecting to see a sentiment. And look what's there. That is really cool, isn't it? £22.99. 741865 is your item number if you want to go for that. Remember, you can use the die to put on the front of the card as well. So you can use that two ways to pop up or just to be on the front. 741. 865. Now we've been seeing lots of elements haven't we in the treasure chest um, and the various other designs that we've got so here they are for you. Uh, £10.99 you get five dies in this set 519156 is your item number. Let's turn that around to show you the size and then let me show you a sample because these are amazing. I thought that was a real coin. I really did. I thought that was a real coin. That is very, very clever. Very clever indeed. And it's only £10.99. 519156. Next up, we've got the sea animals. And remember the little crab that was in the treasure chest? I've got another sample here to show you. Um, this is him or her. I don't know how you tell the difference with crabs. I've never got close enough. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That is great. So that's your little crab on there, but you've also got the elements. You've got your little sea turtle and you've got your shark in there as well. Uh, if you want to go for that, £14.99, proven to be popular, seven dies in total, 773551. Right, so I'm aware that we've got lots to show you on the show. We will be heading back to Paola for some more demonstrations. Let's talk about summer. Let's talk about flowers. This could be placed onto a card just as a flat card, which would look absolutely gorgeous, but using it with, of course, course the different elements of pop-up that we've got for you on the show how about this now that looks nice doesn't it you could put that on the top of a card but how about turning it into a 3d flower pot that is brilliant isn't it do like that how lovely with the bee as well just show you that from the side 11 pounds and 99 pence but of course you can use those flowers for all kinds of different designs you can just use them on the front of a card if you want to 11.99 remember everything is on extended delivery dispatching on the 5th of may now we've got uh, some words for you which are always um, handy aren't they treasured memories the i u r 2 a turn that around there you go so you've got all of your different elements that you can add there treasured memories treasure the memories you are a treasured memory 
or treasured memories. Uh, right, next up are your cruise charms. Love these, and these will work with the previous one day special that we had from Karen. And if I open this up, you'll see them just there. So again, close it down, open it up, and you've got those nautical elements right there. I'll just lift this up to show you. You can use them on your pop-up cards. You can also use them on your flat cards as well. £15.99, great for journaling. 555 320 is your item number. Next, we've got your tropical sea. Oh, to go to a tropical island right now. Mind you, we've got some lovely weather in this country at the moment. Um, but again, use these with your pop-up cards. Use them on the front of your pop-up cards, but also use them to make a create a tropical sea. Nine pieces in total, £15.99. Brilliant for that one. Uh, 119645. Like this one. This got my favourite elements in. Uh, so you've got, now that could be a stag, it could be an elk maybe, uh, a deer out in the wild. And then you've got the bluebirds up above. Aren't they beautiful? That is really nice. Uh, I've got a nice sample to show you here as well because you can use these elements to make a pop-up card. Isn't that lovely? Ready? Up it comes. Give me that 3D element. £15.99 gets you the dies there to build and create that fabulous outdoor scene. 651612. Now, we've got some um, pattern plates for you, uh, dies. And you've got three options. Three options. You've got, the f you've got the tiles, you've got your swirls, and then you've got your flowers. So let's show you a sample of each. So your tiles, beautiful. That would look great on the front of a card. Or indeed, maybe you're decorating a box, for example. Lovely die. Then your swirls. I'll show you swirls here. Bring your swirls in. Again, a lovely, calming pattern on there to go on the front. You could have a lot of fun colouring in. Uh, or maybe using the waste and the scrap that comes out of there. And then your flowers. Look at that. That's incredible. Look at the detail that's on there. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Freedom price, £21.59. 676473. That's your item number. And you get to choose between your tiles, your swirls and your flowers. It's a great price and a great addition to your crafting stash because these really are remarkable and a good size as well to those dies. Right, so let's have a look at the website as we head over to Paula. We are almost a quarter of the stock and we're only 37 minutes into the first live hour. Almost a quarter of the stock gone of your one day special. It's extraordinary. Brought to us by Karen, who was an engineer originally. So all of that knowledge and all of that experience now brought over into crafting. Been crafting for 15 years. Absolutely incredible. Uh, right, get your one day special, pop it into your basket, check on out and let's have some more demonstrations from our lovely Paula. Thank you, Janice. Uh, here's, you know what, I'm, I'm, I know we have to be like this, but I want you beside me, but you know, we have to respect the situation and hopefully not long. It's just, it's just I don't know about you, but I really want a hug from everybody now. I mean, this is, uh, I'm a, a hugger. Uh, and it is very difficult not to hug my friends. Hmm? A little hugger, apparently. Uh, so that sounds a little bit, yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, I'm using the rocking rectangle pop-up. So it's this one. This is the one that uh, I'm using. Just to show you there are different thing, ways of using it because I think that one was one of those ones that I went like, ooh, how does, this, how does it work? So what you do is you die cut the two pop-up elements that you uh, have got in, the, um, in the, the kit. And again, they will work even, I think this one will work even with the smaller die cutting machines. They don't, because the largest die, which is this one, it's about um, two and three quarters by so two and three quarters. So, so even that one will go through it. So, um, so that will work as long as your machine, the aperture is two and three quarters, that will work through. Right, so these elements, of course, they ha if have got more length, but is the width that you always need to look at. Now, you have got here these two elements. Now, here, you can see that one. So what it, it says to do, and again, always have the uh, instructions right beside you because it tells you to make all of them, I believe. Like, so can you see that it is like a concertina? 
fold. And it has got a diagram as well, so you are not lost. However, remember that that uh, Karen has got amazing tutorials online. She explains everything so well. I remember going to one of her workshops back in 2000 and I don't know, 2007, something like that, 2006. I, I don't remember exactly the day. But uh, it was amazing how well she explains everything. Now, these two bits in here, we needed to glue them together. So what you, again, you can use red liner tape or a little bit of wet glue and hold them together. My top tip is use your, your stamping platform with the strong magnets to hold it there while it's glue. In the meantime, I have done one before it, so I have got one ready. Now, what you need to do then is, of course, you need to put, can you see that one has got like the two legs in sort of way? Now, you need to fold those bits a little bit to ease them in to here. Okay. And that takes a little bit, you know, just, just don't be afraid. Can you see? Now then open them up again. And don't worry because they are not going to really be seen. Um, so if you're thinking, oh, it's a little bit unsightly, don't worry because they are not going to be seen that much. Just be gentle with them, not like I'm, I am. I'm a little bit rough, but you know. Right, so the, can you see that is the mechanism? This is what you want to have. Now, what then you take your cards and of course, if you want a pattern paper, you put the pattern paper before it. If you want to stamp it, you do that beforehand. This is basically on top of anything that you would do. So then what you do is you line it up. You can see the score line with this bit in here. So I have gone ahead and I have put red liner tape. Uh, let's go with a pokey tool to remove it. And again, because maybe me, I like to put a little bit of wet glue as well, just to make sure that it is properly glued. So there it is, the line there. Okay, okay. Now, okay, so there. Now, then, can you see how I'm putting those elements in here? There, and what you do then, is you put it open like so and you put it like that and put a little bit of glue. Can you see that? And again, I'm just following the instructions. I'm not just, you know, I don't have to remember anything. And this is one of the things that I love about it. It's about um, making sure there it is, then close it up. And now we have got the mechanism. Now you see I'm thinking, so what you're going to do again is put a little bit of glue maybe here because you want to glue that flap like so. Now, mm, I should have done that before, but anyway, just let's leave it there. Now we want to put here uh, uh, an element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut one of the dies that comes in, the largest die, in there. And this is all the mechanism that, uh, like basically the pop-up, the structure, the engineering is done for you, already done. Now is it the, the car part of uh, that we think that is the fun there, the part that is decorating. So I kind of gone uh, in with one die that is included in the kit. So that is kind of going to be in here. And then that is going to go there. Okay, so that's kind of, you can actually, what, one of the things I have done is that actually you can glue it in different places. You don't have to go uh, horizontal, you could put it vertically. But always the first time that you do it is just make sure that you, when you close it, basically train and make sure that you, you are testing the elements. Now, also included in this kit, you have got these bits in here and you're thinking what are they for well the reason they are here let's see where i put my record is because you know this unsightly little bit here that you're gonna have well you can hide it away you have got exactly the right die that will match that size perfectly and this is why i think investing in cameras and dies is such a good idea because you have got a civil engineer so the engineering the elements that they pop up are perfect they are with that kind of element to that the deg ends degree of of the uh, margin of error uh, of you know different thickness of cars and so on and so forth but you have a crafter that knows what what you know she knows what a crafter wants we want versatility we want the ability to hide away those beds that are a little bit 
like as I said, unsightly. You don't want to see the inner workings. You want to see it all pretty. You want something that works and is absolutely perfect. And you ha want to have, there it is, there, kind of like that. So you can see, can you see there, how suddenly it's kind of going in perfectly. You need to kind of make sure that it has gone glued I have to glue it in a little bit of a, a jointy angle, so just make sure that it is. And there it is. There it is. So, and now is a time when you can then go in and decorate it as you wish. So then I'm going to have got another die included in the is that one, so the arrival here. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to use wet glue, I'm going to just use a little bit of uh, tape in here and then you can put so this is one of the dies uh, that we had on it uh, so this is a cruise charms so i'm going to put i use an old paper by my mind's eye that is about traveling so i'm going to put that in here and then what i have done is again die cut them in here so you can use them in the front as well as on the inside these cards I tend to always put things towards that area, towards the right, and a little bit of a jointy angle. So, how the I just wanted to show you how the lifesaver, which I think is such a really cool die. You die cut it out of white, and then this bit out of red, and then you just kind of got bring it in. So it has got that sort of element in of, of runners. Now, if you want to put a cord, can you see it here? What you do is you put a cord around it and then you bring it in. So then you will have accommodate that cord. What I do, I do have some cord somewhere, but here it is. Do you know what I mean? There, put it, you put it in here and then you put it in there and then you put it in here and then you have got that dimension as well. So see, you can do it like this, and then you, of course, glue those bits, or you can keep it more plain like I have done here. Now, you also have got the bon voyage, which I think is always nice to have into, um, you know, it's, it's one of those dies that sometimes uh, if somebody is going on a trip, obviously nowadays it's, it's you know, not, 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 uh, not, not likely, let's be honest. However, we have got new opportunities, new, new adventures, new, new jobs, new things like that. It's just, or also kind of people, you know, ch um, retiring as well. But you can have here, you can see the, the, the boat as well, or the cruise liner in here. So you can then put it, uh, you can, if you wanted to make a hole and then put a ring, uh, a jump ring and have it hanging up. I'm just gonna put it uh, as it is just glue there so if you don't want it as a charm you just trim that bed but I'm gonna leave it here because maybe I will use it I don't know and then I don't I just wanted to show you all the different dies that this amazing collection now also in this kit you have got and I love those ones you have got a set of sequins now um, it is such a clever way because now you can create sequins out of any mirror card, which by the way, we do have got pink frogs and mir rainbow mirror, uh, which I actually re requested because I thought, actually I'm gonna do them as well because I think they are so amazing. Um, and also you can make a mirror um, dancing ball with a surprise, uh, there you can see them can you see the sequence now they are quite there but i'm gonna do them can i do them with the mirror card yes so so you are getting 50 sheets and of course it's pink for look at that so you can make really amazing sequence if you wanted to and of course the fact that you can die cut as many as you want makes it that is you know it's inexpensive sometimes with sequ sequence i have found that there are some that I kind of, um, just like, well, you know, I need the right color, I don't have the right color, whatever. And these ones, uh, with this, I know I have got the right color every time. Right, so, uh, there we have them. So, look at that. It creates, can you see? It's like a proper sequence there. So, you, we can add them here and there. And then a little bit of glue in there. And then 
Uh, yeah, there it is. Just a little bit of pop of colour and light. There. Let's just see if it's like that. But can you see that there's just a tiny amount? But yes, that light in there. There it is. And then, of course, we have got the mechanism on there. How it pops up. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> there it is. Okay, and how quick and easy was that? And of course, you can decorate it as, as much as you wanted, and you have got that popping up. Can you imagine prepare having something like, uh, you know, it's a really, really fun uh, set to go for. Now we have got red liner tape. Of course, we mentioned that. That is from, of course, Walter Strong, and you are getting 20, uh, it's a seven day savers. You are getting 20 reels, three millimeters by five meters. So it means that you are getting 100 meters in total. Now it is a seven day savers, which means that they are launched on, on a Sunday at 8 a.m. So it means that you are, it will go, the price will go up tomorrow at 8. So grab your deals. It's a really fabulous deal for 9.99. Three millimeters is the thinner one, which for the, all these construction uh, elements, it uh, makes a lot of sense to go for. Um, you can see there the item number and you can check your baskets out for it right now. Let's join Janice then. Oh, thank you, Paula. Great demonstrations there. Now we're over a quarter of the stock gone. These are amazing. This has been the most fun pack shot we've um, ever set up for you. Do you know why? See this? Pops straight up. Folds flat, pops straight up. So when someone receives that in the post, boom, it's right there. Shall we open the other ones that we've got? Let's have a look. So you've got your chick. Let's put your chick down there. So with your one day special, you've got the die that will make and create the main element. Then you have your die that will create an envelope for you or an enclosure. Let's open this one up and see what happens. So the die will make and create the outside and then what inside is going to pop up once it's open are you ready just like that and it's easy just to simply fold that flat again let's open up the other ones as well because there's a nice surprise we've got this one here so we can simply pull this one out pop that on the top and it pops up what a wonderful gift another one here you can make an envelope like this and you can pull let's pull this one out and what is it gonna be it's a penguin that was easy so again you fold flat and you just pull it out and it pops up and you got your penguin just there over this side I think that will tell a tail so we'll pull this one out we'll pull this one out and here we go up he pops nice little mr. Fox so we'll put mr. Fox there and then we've got a pretty cat on the outside what hides from the pussycat let's pull that out let's pull that out it's the mouse that is lovely. What an absolute delightful idea. And I think anybody that you send these to are going to have such a smile on their face afterwards. It really is incredible. A special card for a special occasion for a special person. And it will be a beautiful card and a special card that will be received with thanks. So easy to post as well. Just simply pop that down. It's easy to put together. We've had some great demonstrations from Paula, but you see on the back there, it's one, two, three easy steps to start building and creating. You can also find Karen on YouTube as well to follow her tutorials. Remember, Karen's been in the crafting industry for 15 years, but before that, she was an engineer. So all of that knowledge, bringing innovation, and that's what Karen wants. She wants to bring as much innovation to her dyes as possible. So when you get them home, you can make and create some amazing cards. Let's open this one. I wonder what could be in here. For all you gardeners out there, let's open that, let's open that, let's open that, and then open that. There he is. Isn't that brilliant? He even looks good like that. Uh, apparently that's how Andy springs out of bed in the morning, which is quite apt because that does look like our director. So here he is. Come on, Andy, come to work. All right, I'm ready. Then when he finishes, oh, I've got to go sleep again. And then when he wakes up, come on, Andy, come to work. Here he comes. There you go. <laughs> that is brilliant it really is uh, if you want to get hold of your one day special we've got another live show tonight at 8 p.m. and Paula is here with some more demonstrations for you and then we've got live shows tomorrow after repeats throughout the night the new hours 
tomorrow are 8 a.m., 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. The reason why I tell you we've got repeats overnight is because we have people in America watching. We're streaming back to America and delivering to America now, so that's really good news. And, of course, because America is such a large country and there's a different time zone over in the States, people come in at different times here in the U.K., people buy overnight that's what I'm saying so we have a busy show today at launch we've got another live show at 8 and then we Pete's all the way through the night. So if you want to get a hold of your one-day special, £37.99, pence, saving £5. I want to say a huge thank you to our lovely Paola. There she is. And Paola will be back at 8 o'clock for live demos. So exciting, isn't it? But again, it's just a shame we can't be together, but we're kind of together over the other side of the studio. Um, check out your baskets. Make sure that everything that's in your basket now, if you want it and you're ready to go, check on out. Don't miss out. Get your one day special. It's absolutely fantastic. But stay where you are because we've got more coming up here on Hochanda.